Hello everyone. This is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot. And this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your monthly general reading for August 2019. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams to pull a major theme and energy for you this month. Oh, how awesome is that? You are in your own energy this month, Aquarius. The star. Love it. All right. I'm also using the Madame Andorra, and I will be pulling from the Psychic Tarot as well. Now, Aquarius, I will be using the Witch Tarot for your monthly general reading. And at the end of your reading, I will be pulling several Life Purpose cards for you, Aquarius. Oh, we have the Maiden. A new relationship blossoms. Beautiful. All right, Spirit, thank you so much. What does Aquarius need to know this month? Thank you, Spirit. All right. Harmony, love it. All right, thank you. All right, Spirit, what does Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know in the month of August 2019? Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> All right. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, Spirit. Thank you. All right, Aquarius, we're ready. Situation of the month. We have the Page of Swords. Crossing you is the Ace of Wands. In your foundation is the Five of Swords. We have the Six of Swords in your recent past energy. Crowning you is the Nine of Wands. The Magician as the new circumstance. Beautiful. Awesome. What you need to know, we have the Wheel of the Year here. Your environment is the King of Pentacles. Advice from the universe is justice. Your outcome energy is the Page of Wands. What a reading. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at your major energies here, Aquarius. So we have the star. This represents your energy. I feel for many, um, this is you going after a dream, uh, reaching for the stars. I'm also getting there's a big, big emphasis here on balance within yourself. And I, I feel like, especially with harmony coming up here, you are... You are literally all through the month here. You have this balance with mind, body, and spirit. So very positive. I feel for some of you, you may be um, allowing the universe to uh, heal you at this time. Uh, there could you could be doing meditation. Uh, you're listening to spiritual guidance. You're tapping into your own. Uh, inner wisdom and knowledge I feel like to guide you we have the maiden a new relationship blossoms now this could be romantic or this could be a friendship uh, if you're open for a romantic uh, friendship uh, or a romance it could happen for you this month so if you're open to receiving this or wanting this it's coming. Now, I feel like for the majority, this has to do with somebody that is destined to come across your path. Uh, this is somebody, this is going to be somebody that's going to be a really good friend. Somebody that, it's a friendship that's going to be long-lasting. Spirit says, this is somebody that's truly going to love you for who you are and unconditionally. So be on the lookout, you guys. Now, you have harmony, like I said, coming up here. And this is all about... 
balanced relationships. Uh, this is balancing your energy. Some of you could be making major life decisions and choices this month. Um, but for the most part, it's very positive for you, whatever this has to do with. All right, so Aquarius, we have the Page of Swords here. This is your energy. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra here. Let me get a drink. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm about to lose my voice. <laughs> Please bear with me. <coughs> okay, excuse me. The Page of Swords is telling me that you are ready for action you're using logic and reason to move forward this month some of you may be even going back to school learning different things uh, i'm getting career change as well for some of you but another thing i'm getting as you can see he's holding that sword up like that okay so what this tells me is that He's ready to take action, cut away any situation or person that's no longer serving his best interest either, okay? There, there's clarity here. There's cutting away things that's maybe not just or right in your situation. So, I see that in a positive way. Now we have the Ace of Wands here. And this is crossing you. This is you having a new beginning that has a lot of passion and desire. Um, this is a creative vision. This is you having a fresh start, uh, maybe a new way of looking at something, but you're, you're taking action on it. Like I said, most definitely could have to do with the job. Now we have the Five of Swords coming in here. This is what's pushing you forward. This is what's driving you, okay, Aquarius? And what's interesting about this, as you can see, there's a lot of balance here. You're, you're, you're very balanced. You're using, I feel like you're turning a situation of maybe arguments or disagreements or conflicting interests. You're using this spiritual alchemical process to turn a negative and fuel it and turn it into something positive by it driving you, this energy moving you forward. So I love that for you guys. Um, a lot of times people have a hard time when they're in a, a negative situation to turn it around or make it a positive. And that's exactly what you, the force you're using. Now we have the Six of Swords coming in here in your recent past energy. The Six of Swords is all about, you know, in your recent past, you may have been in a challenging situation, confrontations, uh, maybe even a toxic relationship. And this is you changing direction. This is you moving forward, you know, into smoother and calmer waters. You're moving out of choppy waters. Some of you may have literally moved, okay? Now we have the Nine of Wands here. This is crowning you. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This is the Wounded Warrior energy right here. There's no telling how long it took you to collect all of those wands. Could have took years, okay? You could have even been wounded while you were collecting all these. But you still have the spirit of perseverance to move forward. Um, you're not going to let anything get in your way or stop you from what it is that you are achieving. Because you are prepared and you have an awareness. You're awakened. And you're not backing down. Now we have the magician here. I just love this. this. Is the new circumstance. This is Gemini and Virgo energy. This is you using that laser focused intention. To communicate what it is that you're wanting to co-create and manifest in your life. You're using all the tools that are available to you. You're speaking your intentions out loud. And you're making it happen. You're, you're tapping into that, that energy here. See, and when you have balance like you do, and like I said a moment ago, turning a negative into a positive, that's exactly what takes place here with the energy of the magician as well. 
So you are really setting your intentions to co-create what it is that you want in your, your situation. Now, what you need to know is the will of the year, the will of destiny, you know, the will of fate, whatever you want to call it, but it's a very powerful energy. There's a change of luck in the air for you, Aquarius. If you have been going through a challenging time or obstacles, the will is moving in your favor. Okay? This is all about being inspired, luck, and change. Now we have the King of Pentacles in your environment. And what this tells me is that you are stepping into that energy of the King of Pentacles. A feeling that... I, I feel like the king of your castle here, what your home is, having that stability and security, something built on a strong and firm foundation it's, is what's coming through from spirit. You're very reliable. You're a very supportive and enterprising type individual. And I feel like whatever it is that you are building up here, Aquarius, you're going to succeed. And, and you know that. You're, you're, you're feeling it. So, very powerful. Now, your advice from the universe is justice. This is the energy of Libra. What can I say, Aquarius? Um, this whole reading supports you. It's, in, uh, it's good karma. Good things are coming your way. Wherever you may have felt unjust or maybe out of balance it's coming full circle for you and justice is in your favor this is your advice justice will be handled whether it's karmic whether it's something in this mundane uh, earthly experience but there's going to be balance here and there's going to be clarity and it's all in your favor it's going to allow for you to Embody this energy of the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, as your outcome energy. This is having a lot of enthusiasm and excitement about that creative vision that you have here. What you're learning about, what you're wanting to start here. Whether it's a new project or a new job. Maybe it's a new re uh, relationship. The Page of Wands is somebody that has a lot of self-confidence a passion about what their creative vision is and going after it for some of you this is exciting news coming in uh, something you've been waiting to hear about you've been waiting uh, on word maybe a message this could be a phone call this could be what it is that your creative vision has to do with you know this could be a job that you put in for coming back to you you getting the phone call and them telling you all right you know, you're hired or we want that second interview, that type of energy right here. But it's something that you have so much excitement and enthusiasm about. Something that you want very badly, Aquarius. Like I said, Aquarius, you're feeling your energy this month with the star coming up here. A lot of you are going after a, a wish. You're going after a dream. And you have that perfect balance this month with that spiritual alchemical process. You are going to be able to manifest whatever you want. No doubt in my mind. Keep your eyes open. Some of you may have a new relationship that blossoms here. Um, somebody that's destined to come into your life. Whether it's romantic or it's just a friendship. Maybe a business friendship. You have that balance like i said with your energy here some of you may be making a major life decision but it's positive you're putting in the work you're gaining the knowledge about this creative vision whatever it is that you're starting you're using logic and reason and you're ready for action some of you are cutting out people that are no longer serving you or situations you're going to let this Five of Swords energy, this conflict, fuel you into a positive direction. You're turning a negative into a positive. You're moving on into smoother and calmer waters where you may have had challenges and obstacles in your recent past. You have that survivor, that spirit of perseverance running through you, Aquarius. Nothing's going to stop you from your goal. 
You're using the energy of the magician to manifest and co-create your heart's true desire. And I feel like it has a lot to do with this change of luck here. Maybe financial gain. This is some type of wish fulfillment. Karmic debt has been paid and now you're writing the will here. And there's something good coming into your situation. You're embodying this energy of the King of Pentacles, which is something that's built on a strong and firm foundation, stability and security within your home. Spirit says, this is your advice, justice, justice will be served, it's in your favor. You will have all the truth and clarity that you need, Aquarius. To be able to move on and have this new beginning with whatever this new project, job, whatever this is to you, that you have all this self-confidence and excitement about. Some of you, it's receiving word, like I said, there's news coming and it's going to make you very, very happy. There it is, heart's desires. I <laughs> love it when there's confirmation coming out like that. Love it. All right. All right, so we have heart's desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. What has this whole reading been about? Beautiful. Talk to your angels instead of worrying. Ask for divine guidance. School. The answer that you're seeking involves going to school. All right, Aquarius, I love you guys. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I wish you the best of luck, and I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Aquarius.